what's up cloud gamers welcome to the cloud gaming extreme channel so today i'm going to be showcasing the easiest and simplest way to play google stadia on an android tv without needing to sideload anything so this is not using the official stadia app which i have here this is not using the chrome browser this is going to be using a really cool browser that i found that works really well with google stadia and you don't need to sideload again so all you have to do is open up the play store and you want to search for a browser called open browser so you're going to see me start here and it should be the first thing that pops up so as you can see right here this is open browser so i'm going to open it i have it installed all you guys are going to have to do is just hit the install button should be good to go so let me showcase this browser out for a bit so something i love about this browser is that you can bookmark stuff so you're going to see here all you have to do is search for url so you're going to come here and you're just going to go to google and you're going to search for stadia so what makes this browser awesome is that it's already indexed that most so you don't have to go to the settings and change anything as soon as you download this for the android tv box it's already set up in desktop mode and i'll show you that right here so as you can see here this is desktop you can do tablet or phones so again it's desktop so all you want to do is just search for google stadia on here and it is a breeze so let's get into that So as you can see, this is my Stadia account. It's already set up. All you have to do is just put in your Stadia credentials and you're good to go. So this is what it looks like on here. As you can see, this is the full-fledged Google Stadia browser. All right, so here you have it. This is the official Google Stadia browser running on here. And I love how it's almost like customized for this browser, which is cool. So you can come here, you can see all of your pro games. And again, I'm using the controller right now to navigate this. So this is the NVIDIA Shield remote control. And I've tried this with the Google TV Chromecast and it works just the same. You see, I'm not having to download anything additional. I'm actually just using the controller to navigate. So next thing you want to do is just pair your Google Stadia controller. It's that simple. So here we are. We just paired our Google Stadia controller and you'll see I'm actually able to use my Google Stadia controller to navigate this. So let's get right into a game that we want to play. So we're going to hit judgment and you're going to see this pop up so it's gonna get right into the game that's just a little hiccup that happens with low neighbor game but then once you do that you're gonna get this menu and it's gonna just load right into the game you should be good to go all right so here we go you're gonna see something that pops up that says hit the mouse button so all you have to do is use your video show controller or your google tv controller and hit the middle button once and then just hit your stadia controller any button on there and then that should leave and then you write in so i'm using my google stadia controller right now to navigate so you guys can see there's hardly any latency it's doing a good job just recognizing the google stadia controller and gaming so here we go this is judgment running on google stadia using this application and as you guys can see this runs really well not having any latency any issue and graphically this looks pretty incredible so again just want to showcase this showcase that this actually works and this has been a good solution that i found this is running 1080p um, I don't know much about upscaling. I tried to use the Nvidia Shield TV to upscale it, but still doesn't work. But I feel like this right now is the best solution until the official app becomes available for Android TV. So let me know what your thoughts are on this. Again, I'm using the Google Stadia controller. And as you can see, it runs really well, not having any latency issues at all. But yeah, let me know if you guys try this. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm having a good time with this. And again, one of the best solutions that I've found so far. All right, fellas, if you found this helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel for we cover more overview videos like this and how to's. I will catch you guys in the next one. Till next time, fellas. Peace out.